All right, guys, and in this video, I'm going to show you why it's a stupid idea to look for a job right now, especially doing RMCO and with a potential lockdown coming up. I'm going to show you why. Okay, anyways, uh, very quickly, I'm just going to use my iPad. Okay, just got this iPad here to demonstrate to you how, uh, why, why I said what I said just now. Okay. So in this case, we're going to use uh, the principle of demand and supply. Okay. So I'm just going to put the iPad screen here. And, uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. So hopefully it works. Okay. Okay. So here's the iPad screen and okay. To prove the point, we're going to use the concept of demand and supply. Okay. So we're going to put here, here, uh, demand, demand and supply. Okay, then we're gonna put like the price here, lah. Okay, so if let's say it just we're gonna go on basic principles first. Okay, basic principles. Let's say if the demand of something is high, high demand, and the supply is low, people are willing to pay a very high price for it. Okay, people are willing to pay a high price. So this is scenario number one. Scenario number two is where let's say the demand is low, a very low demand, but the supply is high. In this case, right, the cost will be very low as well. Okay. So now what are the example of a high demand item? Okay. Um, I'm just going to use app the iPhone. Okay. Use an iPhone as an example. For example, like when Apple announces a new iPhone, and it releases in Malaysia. Okay. Do you, okay, iPhone, iPhone users, you, you kind of know, like, the moment it launches, it, like, the first wave, the, like, when it launches in Malaysia, um, you will, we always know that the first month, the first one or two months, right? No stock one. Okay. No stock. But the demand is very high. Okay. So I'm just going to put that like, iPhone. Wow. Demand is very high. People are crazy. Uh, they want to give the money. Like, I want to buy one. But every time you go to a shop, you go to Cellcom, you go to Maxis, you go to DG. Okay. Wherever you go, like, it's like, Oh, I need to wait. Okay. You need to wait. Okay. There's no stock. Okay. Stuff like that. So this is where people are willing to pay a very high price, even though the iPhone is about, you know, like, let's say iPhone. Okay. iPhone is about, uh, 3,000 to 6,000 ringgit. No problem. <laughs> okay. No problem. Because I want one now. I want one now. And that's why, uh, that's why if, uh, something is in high demand and very low supply, that's where people are willing to pay a very high price. Okay. Now, how does this apply to the job market right now? Okay. I'm just going to put red color here. Okay. How, how does this apply to the job market? So right now, the like companies uh come since MCO right companies have adapted to you know work with uh either less staff okay less staff or no staff at all okay this is one of the ways companies have adapted since MCO okay even right now during our MCO we have news where people are lining up to get job okay so right now the demand the demand for employee the demand for worker is very low. Okay. It's very low. But the people who are looking for jobs, okay. Employee, people looking for jobs, people looking for jobs. A lot, a lot. Okay. So we so anyways, uh, so this one, right? Based on this alone, even if you do get a job, the wage, the salary or wage will be very low, very, very, very low. Okay. So that is why it, it doesn't make sense for you to get a job. Okay. Because even if you do, you will be replaced very fast because there are so many people here. Okay. So many people here looking for jobs. Okay. And even if they do pay you, you're going to pay, you're going to be paid so little. Okay, is it even worth your time? Is it even worth your 
hey, is it even worth your, uh, you know, putting in your time, giving your energy and getting that low salary and low wage? This is the big question mark for you. Okay, this is the big question mark. Once again, um, if you're looking for a job right now during RMCO, this is one of the worst ideas you can get. That is... Uh, that is what our parents used to tell us, okay, get a job, study hard, okay, um, you know, but that was during our parents' time, okay, things have changed, things are not as what it was before. You need to step up as a business owner or entrepreneur or work from home, you need to learn how to, to support yourself. People who do not adapt will suffer very badly, okay, um, if you're one of those who are still holding on to the old methods, you're still holding on to the previous, uh, you know, uh, you're still holding on to the previous idea that oh, if I get a job, I'll be safe. No, you won't. Okay, no, you won't. And since you're here, I just want to give you like an idea. So anyways, this one I learned when I was in insurance, right? Because um, even though I was in insurance, it was a tough industry. It was a very challenging industry, but I held on. Okay, I didn't want to work. I hated to go to work as an employee because I, I, I don't want to spend my time to be with, um, I don't want to spend my time to help someone else, you know, build their company, I, would, I might as well spend my time to build my own business. Okay, so that is the idea. So anyway, I want to give you an, another story. Okay, um, this one was from my insurance agent leader. Okay, his name is Mr. Core. Very nice man. I learned a lot from him on how to be a leader. He was... Mr. Core was dealing with a lot of agency managers, a lot of unit managers, and uh, we were blessed. Okay, we were blessed to you know be a part of his uh, team at that time, and I learned how to be a leader from him as well. Okay, so this is what he's taught me. So he says, right, everyone, this is the ground. Okay, this is the ground. Okay, whoops. Okay, as you are working, right, as you are working, you are digging. A hole okay you're digging your own hole so this is you you're working and as the more you work right the hole gets deeper as well okay even though even though yes your salary increases over time okay maybe increases over time a bit every every year a little bit every year a little bit but as you work your commitments also get higher okay your commitments get higher and higher and higher until the point okay until the point where maybe five years down the line ten years down the line or twenty years down the line you are here and your commitments are so high and then you realize that your salary not enough to cover if you want to jump out at this point it is almost impossible Okay, almost impossible because you cannot afford to not work because of all your commitments here. So which uh, which stage are you in right now? Okay, which stage are you in? Are you over here? Are you here, here, or are you over here already? Okay, this is the big question to you. Now, if you're over here, okay, if you are here, A, hey, still not too late okay this is for you to realize it is not too late for you to start your own business start doing something that will support yourself do not depend on salary do not depend on the boss do not depend on an employer to pay you do not put your entire life just on on a on, on someone else depend on yourself okay for me we depend on ourselves to to survive we depend on ourselves to live okay don't put your hopes on someone else but let's say if you are over here then what what can you do okay your salary is not about your salary is not enough to cover your commitments already so what can you do this is where you might need to get support okay get support find some way just try your best to get out okay so anyways uh hope this helps you uh, because of this right i this alone i 100 percent agree I never want to work again, never ever in my life. I'm not going to get a job ever, okay? Even if it's like, even if I am like dying, I won't even get a job. I'll just find some way to make it work so that I can support myself, my family and my, uh, my kids as well, okay? Anyways, this video is uh, just to show you why getting a job right now during our MCO or uh, during a potential lockdown is the worst thing you can think of. It's the worst move you can do right now. 
this is why okay i hope this makes sense i hope you found this helpful and let's say if now you are looking to you're open to starting your own business your start you're open to you know working from home being your own entrepreneur we have the platform for you okay we are in the education industry where we're helping children to learn from home they are learning from home and this is exactly what we are providing to them right now okay it is a high demand so you want to do something that's in high demand and then you want to do something that's simple as well we have the platform for you we have the support for you so if you want to do this you want to work from home just feel free to apply and join us okay so the link will be in the description it's um, joincrystalshawn.com hopefully this helps you we look forward to if you want to if you want to work together with us we are looking forward to receive your application okay so just go to joincrystalshawn.com and then you fill in your application over there all right anyways if you like this please share this with someone who thinks getting a job right now is a good idea it is not okay share this with them let them know why they need to stand on their own feet why do they need to like uh, depend on themselves don't depend on other people for your own survival okay hope this helps you okay if you like it feel free to subscribe i would also love to hear your comments please comment below and anyways i'll see you in the next video Bye bye